Hey guys, Jake here, and welcome to a video. I haven't done one of these in ages. So, um, yeah, I've just been doing other stuff. I haven't really had time for YouTube, but we're back, and we're World of Tanks. We're uh, showing you a match in the T-110E4, which is the American Tier 10 turreted tank destroyer. And it's a beast of a tank, it really is. Uh, first of all, this is in 1080p, so you, there's some lag. Also, there is going to be uh, quite a bit of lag when the guns start firing for the first time because I'm using the historical gun sounds and that lags when it loads all the sounds and then it, it, it does stop there. So, something to bear in mind there. Um, so yeah, back back doing a few YouTube videos. I don't know how many, I kind of do want to have time, so we'll see. Uh, get spotted there, and I'm pretty sure that's a bat chat, which we'll have, well, we should see in a moment. Um, yeah, there he is. So you can see, we're, we're, we're going to go for a shot on here. Um, this is kind of... Oh, I didn't really aim this one properly. Just a... Yeah, it didn't go in. Just a quick shot while I was on, on my way to the town. Because the way I play the E4 is as a, a brawling, sort of urban tank destroyer. I don't really play it as a, um, a sniper. Because it's just not why I feel it's best used for. It's best used up in, your, up in people's faces where it can use its turret to... Uh, to its advantage and its armor is still pretty troll. It's not E3 levels of troll, but it's still pretty troll. So what we're doing here, we're just going to uh, head into the town, try and get some shots off. Um, you can see we're kind of coming up behind this M103 here, and we can see there's some tough tanks over there. We're going to look, they were behind the buildings, so we're going to keep pushing forward a bit here. Trying to poke out, see what we can spot. It's angling there a little bit as we come around the corner. Looking for anything else. I don't see anything there, so I kind of back off and oh, I'm spotted. Oh, oh, no, Yag Tiger there. So we're looking for a shot on Mr. Yag Tiger. Oh, and thankfully he drives forward a bit and we uh, slam a shot into him there for a thousand damage. That's a very nice roll. And so we're going to relocate now. There's no point hanging around there. Because your armor is still pretty good in this. It's not amazing, so you can't really afford to sit there taking shots from Yag Tigers. So we're pushing up here, I'm just going to pass uh, our IS-8. Oh, if you don't get caught on the rubble first. <laughs> just come past here, we're going to look for shots on anyone, nothing there. Just be cautious here in case there's anyone waiting. And it looks like the IS-7's around the building. And we see, was it, oh, E-100. We're going to sit and aim on the, and oh, no, we're not going to take that shot, that'll bounce. Oh, I guess he got away, huh? Nope. Oh no, nope, maybe he didn't. Yes, please, Mr. E100. <laughs> right into the back of the engine. Nice, solid 1,300 damage before he puts the fire out. So that was awesome. I don't know why he kind of, He knew I, uh, he had spotted me, so I don't know why he continued to give me his uh, rear there. He turned and gave me his rear. Maybe he's just, he was just trying to get around the corner there, but still pretty pretty bad play, I would say. I maybe would have waited too, a little bit, because he knows I'm going to be looking at him, so still. Uh, so, we have an IS-8 there, so we're going to see if we can get a shot on this guy. We put one in, and right into his engine, that's another fire there. <laughs> nice, 1,400 damage, and we get the kill. So, uh, now, I'm sort of, you see what I'm about playing it uh, sort of as a brawler, it's quite in the, uh, in the cities and kind of just trying to get a bit closer than you would in a normal tank destroyer. So we gotta just duel with the M103 a little bit there, try and get past, we're both a bit confused. And oh, big tanks, so fire one clutch there, solid 850 damage into the E75, very good. And uh, coming out here, I do take a shot and I'm not sure what it's from. Uh, we Let's have a look, oh yeah, we've got an E4 there, maybe we're gonna get a shot into him as well, that would be nice. Let's have a look and fire it, ah, oh, it goes too low. And that's unfortunate. Something fired at us there. I think initially I thought that was the Yang Panzer because I kind of popped out and I, yeah, just see what happens. We take a shot there for 500 damage, which I'm surprised with. Maybe that was HE or something because I thought his gun does a lot more than that, doesn't it? So that was odd. Put one in though. And good solid amount of damage there. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to back up and head more towards the cap circle to provide a bit of support to this IS-7 because he's kind of all on his own at the moment. We don't really want to leave him to die, so... 
teams are pretty equal at the moment. Scores are pretty even, so. So we're just going to kind of uh, look around here. And sort of keep an eye out just to see what I can see. I'm wondering where that egg tug is going to go. Ooh, we've got a Ferdinand over there. Let's aim in, see if we can get a shot on this guy. Let's just wait so he's in a better spot. Like up here, maybe. And we aim, and we. Oh, and it goes too low and hits the terrain. That would have been a good shot to put in there. But unfortunately, RNG <laughs> was not with us that day. Well, it was, but not with that shot. <laughs> you see, this is a very awesome match. So, uh, Let's just see if we can get a kill on the Shag Tiger, maybe. No. Looks like he's going to hide behind that. So we're going to push out. And oh, there's a Ferdy. Let's see if we can just uh, aim one and put one in. Boom. He bounced. Uh, let's have a look, see where he bounced. Uh, yep, gun mantlet, no chance. <laughs> so we're going to kind of get into, try and get into cover here. Oh, and we, yeah, Tiger misses a shot. And we're going to pull back out here and aim. And oh, is he going to come out? Yeah, we missed the egg Tiger. Yeah, man. So let's push up so we can get a shot from here, maybe. No, can still just and oh, is he? Oh, he's coming out, and we'll put one right through the superstructure. There we go, kill secured. So now we're going to try to see if we can get a kill on this ISA. But I know I'm kind of racing against the Waffen Trigger. I'm pretty sure this uh, this Waffen Trigger 100 will get the kill at this point. I'm kind of I'm just following for uh, I don't know to be honest. I I probably should have turned around and gone back up that way. Maybe try and get some more damage done, but. Yeah. So he's dead. There's only a Lerva, a T124, and a Batchat left. So what we're going to do right now is uh, try and no, E4 is dead. Batchat kills our 704. And right now it's just a game of uh, hunt the Batchat <laughs> because the the Lerva, I believe, is down around J4. He hasn't really moved much since the start of the game, I don't think. Um, and the bat chair is kind of uh, he's, he's he's hanging around, sort of up down the one line, and he's kind of sneaking around a bit. Um, let, I'm actually just going to put it into times four speed because uh, it takes a little while for us to get him. So we kill the lever. I'm sort of hunting around him, maybe trying to intercept him as he comes around, maybe if he's planning on that, of course. Um, so I'm looking around, can't, no one's seen him yet, Scout hasn't spotted him. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to you know, keep following around, having a look. Someone's going to go and cap, which is good, because that means he has to he has to come and find us, if he like has to come out if he actually wants to have any chance of doing some more damage. Or at least, you know, there's no, I don't think there's any way he could win this game, because there's just so many of us left, but yeah. So we're going to check down here now. Just looking to see if he could be hiding down here. E5's ahead of me. I'm just going to put it down to one speed here. <laughs> so we're hunting down. This is probably one of the last places. And oh, there he goes. He puts the shot into the E5. And you can see we're kind of looking for a shot there. We don't really have a great one. Waffentrager puts the shot in. And the Waffentrager finishes him off. And that was a game in the T124. Now let's look at the post game stats. Hey guys, uh, okay, so we're in Bandit Cam now looking at the post game stats. You can see this was a nice 71,000 credit game and 3,162 experience, which is awesome, and that's doubled for the first win of the day. So you can see we got our mastery first class there. Um, this was a few days after I got the tank, that's why it's only a first class, really. I haven't really had a chance to get an ace tank or anything yet. Uh, team score, we can have a look, we can see. Um, a nice 6,000 damage there, which is awesome. Three kills and 1,054 base experience. That's more than anyone else did in the match, so that's pretty damn good. You also see this actually, this Waffen Trigger had a good game as well, so you know, thumbs up to him, he knows what he's doing. You can see we fired 10 shots, 7 hit, 7 penetrated, with a nice, doing, uh, doing us a nice 6,000 damage. Uh, we took 2 hits, of which 1 penetrated and 1 bounced, giving us a potential damage of 1,720. Uh, we detected one enemy, damage six, 
destroyed three, and did 192 damage upon detecting, which is probably assistance damage for tracking someone. Or even it could be spotting, I have no idea to be honest. And we travelled 3.15 kilometers. As you can see it was a very good game there, I had a lot of fun playing it, and I want to share it with you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully I will see you soon in another video. <laughs> I want to do a Hellcat review, so hopefully that will be the next thing I do. Yeah, who knows, maybe a different game. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and hey, why not subscribe? And I'll see you next time.